Instead of cashing in on the Chinese New Year, Tasmania's abalone industry could be about to lose up to $15 million. A second round of testing has confirmed a virus in wild abalone off the east coast, news that could drive down export prices. It was locked down at the abalone farm in Bishano where the gangliomyritis virus was discovered last week. There's a security guard on the gate. The smell of dead fish and the noise of machinery are the only outward signs the farm is dumping two and a half million dollars worth of abalone and decontaminating the site. A nearby fish factory which also grows abalone and deals with the farm has been closed as well. Test results confirmed the potentially deadly virus was found in samples of wild abalone taken from the waters near the farm. The worst case scenario uh, is possibly something that, as we have seen happen in Victoria, uh, and uh, we, we've seen that, we know that's happened in the past, we, and we've got to be cognisant that that is a, a possibility. While the fish have the virus, none have yet shown signs of the deadly illness that can follow. It, it is a possibility that the virus is endemic in the wild and uh, our, our abalone are adapted to it. That's what the industry is counting on. One positive aspect uh, is that the information that we've got back from the divers who collected the samples is that all of the abalone that were taken for testing all looked healthy. Many people in Bishno are worried about the virus and the long-term effects on the local community. Already two local businesses have closed in the short term and millions of dollars of income has been lost. Fiona Breen, ABC News, Bishno.